don't know. Now this hand here, this is a big favorite of Hawkins. I've heard about it. Okay, cool. So this is starting out with the EQ turned all the way down. Somewhat muted, right? Very dull, dull-ish type tone, but as we start to turn on these EQ controls, you hear this little thing start to come to life. And what we're dealing with is an open back ceramic 10-inch speaker. Now the one main difference here too, that we have to remember between a ceramic speaker and an Alnico speaker. The ceramic speaker, when we say ceramic, we're dealing with the magnet. And that's just the, the characteristics and what the speaker was actually made with. Now the Alnico is a hybrid, so that it was made of Alnico, or it is made of Alnico, nickel, and cobalt. So to my ears, the Alnico sounds a bit sweeter and a bit, let's say, a scientific term, tastier. It's a bit tastier at the top end. And it's compression characteristics, which means when you start to hit the guitar louder, it's actually going to start to squish back against that. Whereas if you have a mandolin or certain 30s and 40s Gibson guitars, the harder you hit them, they're just going to keep barking louder and louder back at you. Not a lot of instruments will do that. And most things, at a certain point, you hit compression no matter, no matter what you do, because you just physically can't hit it any harder. Not bad. We're obviously dealing with a recording amp. That it's not going to be enough to keep up with a drummer. Let's see what we got. Now I've pinned the bass, which is my usual preference for tone. So let's check this thing out. So right off the bat, there's not much low end happening with this amp, and again, that's going to be attributed to the 10-inch speaker. But the circuit is definitely a lot different between. Banshee, although with the Banshee we had a 12, which is going to, obviously as you go in bigger in diameter size with your speakers, you're always going to get more pronounced and more general low end. Now the cool thing about garnets that I've always found, uh, because there's so many different little pawn shop finds and so many garnets that you come across, what you find is that the tremolo usually, especially if it's tube trem, which most garnets are, if not all, it's usually pretty sweet to watch. So let's check out what we got here. Let's open up the foot switch. somewhat of a trade embargo and all that came down to was that the speakers that you could bring up from the states they were extremely expensive so to bring up a Jensen speaker people here in Canada they knew that they were better with a Jensen you get a very killer and rich sound but they were really expensive if not two to three times more expensive and there was a company within Canada Montreal based I believe called Marsland and they provided uh, both trainer and garnet with a lot of speakers now most of the ceramics I've come across, I've found that their high end is really what I would class to be brittle and not necessarily pleasing to the ear. So the first thing that I would do, and this is a trick I've been doing for maybe five or six years, is if you come across even a solid state amplifier, like an old Univox or something like that, if you take the speaker wrap and drop in a Jensen, uh, and the designation would be like a P12R or a P12Q, something like that, or a P10R or a P, uh, 
10 cube for a 10 inch size, you drop that speaker in there and you'd be amazed how much it takes a, an amp that you really didn't think too much about and it really brings out uh, the beauty and the color of the amplifier just by changing the speaker. First time I did it was with an old uh, Univox uh, UG70, I believe, and uh, I couldn't believe it. It was a brand new amp. It was an amp I was ready to throw out and sell. Uh, just, you know, for giggles, I threw in the speaker, brand new amp, brand new tone. <laughs>